Hello guys, welcome back to yet another video. So finally, Google have started rolling out stable version of Android 15 and it brings a lot of changes over Android 14. In this video, we'll talk about 20 plus new features and hidden tips and tricks. So here I have my Pixel 7a. I've already updated the device to the latest build of Android 15, which is the stable version. If I go to Android version here, you can see Android version is 15, which comes with 5th October 2024 security patch and the build number is .015. Tapping on Android version here, you can take a look at the Android 15 Easter egg. I was running the stable version of Android 14 on this and I received an OTA update. Here you can see the update size came in at 1.40 GB over Android 14. And guys, now before moving ahead, if you guys find a content useful to you guys, then make sure to smash the like button and also consider subscribing to our channel. Basically, most of the features, we have already spoken about them in the beta builds. But still, for new users of Android 15, we'll talk about every change and hidden features. So in terms of UI, you won't find much of changes. But still, there are a few of them. First of all, let's talk about the wallpapers and style section. So here the wallpaper and style section have completely got revamped. In the single page itself, you can see the option of home screen and lock screen. And another thing guys, they haven't added any more new clock styles. We still have the same clock styles which were present before. But when you apply a wallpaper, they have done some UI changes. So in a single page, you can see just by sliding, you can have access to home screen and lock screen. Tapping on set wallpaper, you get a new pop-up view, which show you guys both the options of lock screen and home screen. And you can select any one of them or both of them if you want to apply the wallpaper on lock screen and home screen. Also, they have given an edit option for the wallpapers. So here you can see I have a wallpaper present. I can zoom in and apply or else I can move it towards the side, either on the left or the right. According to my requirement, I can set the wallpaper. So this one change they have done here. Customizing the clock styles, we still have the same color palettes. And for the size, we have the same options, which is dynamic and small. Another new addition under wallpapers and style section is this color contrast option so basically this option was previously available in the developer settings but now they have added in the wallpapers and style section where you have the option to choose high contrast text which maximizes the contrast with the background and there's the intensity you can select between high medium or default but now this option have been moved from the developer settings and you can also find it in the display section here you can see under display and touch we do have the color contrast option you can make changes either from the display section or the wallpapers and style section and talking about the lock screen so here i did not see any major change one minor change what i noticed and that's led to the notification panel or you can say notifications so if you have multiple notifications now the pill is in circular shape previously we used to see like kind of rectangular shape with curved edges. Also one other minor change which I noticed on the lock screen and that's led to the unlocking animation. So whenever I unlock the device, you can see a nice transition while unlocking the device and the app popping out animation is too good. Here you can see in the slow motion. So those are the minor changes what you'll see on the lock screen. And now talking about the home screen, here they have done few changes. One of them is, for example, if you long press on any of the application, I mean the suggested application, here you have an icon of do not suggest. Previously, do not suggest option used to pop up whenever you used to drag and drop the application towards the top side. We had two options, one was cancel and second was do not suggest. But now we do have an icon and the same thing can be found here. If you long press on the suggested applications, here you can see in text which says do not suggest. So here in the app drawer, you can just tap on the application. I mean the suggested applications. If you don't want that app to be suggested, you can select do not suggest. And another important feature what they have added in the app drawer. So by default, you won't see that feature here, but it can be enabled by going to settings, security and privacy. And there's this new option called private space which keeps your app locked and hidden. So let me show you how does it work and what are the benefits of it. So here if you see the description of private space, it says hide or locks app in a private space. Use a dedicated Google account for extra security. And if you scroll down, here are some of the steps like create a Google account for your space, set a lock, install applications, Keep in mind, application stops when you log this space. So let's set up private space. And instead of using a different account, I'll use the same account which is running on this device. But it's always recommended to use a different account so that the information does not get synced with your primary account. So I'll just tap on do it later. It will ask you to create a new lock, but I'll be using the same one which is currently present on my device because I'm using the same account. And now it's done. Tapping here, if I scroll down, 
there is a new option called private space and towards the right hand side we also have a lock icon tapping on it you need to authenticate i'll unlock the device and now here i can add the applications by default you'll see these applications like camera chrome photos etc if you want to add more application you need a different google account so currently i'm not doing this but there are some essential settings which you can access by tapping on this setting gear which has options like lock private space automatically which gives you options like five minutes after screen timeout only after the device restarts and you also have an option to hide the private space so if you enable hide private space and then go to the app drawer tapping on lock you can see the entire private space have been completely removed from the app drawer now if you want to access it you need to go to the settings security and privacy tapping on private space authenticate yourself and from here you can make changes other than that you also have an option to delete the private space if you don't want to use it so this is a very useful feature what google have added now talking about other changes which are layered to widget section so if you go to widget section now on the top itself you can see a tab which provides you essential widgets followed by social and some entertainment so these are the recommendations what you'll see in the widget section other than that google have done some changes like they have organized the widgets pretty well previously all the widgets were present in a single line which used to acquire a lot of space but now google have organized it pretty well keeping two widgets side by side and it's not only with clock widgets they have organized the same way with other widgets too also weather widget have been named as pixel weather in the widget section after that they haven't revamped the quick setting tiles and one thing which i always wanted google to make changes and that's this black quick setting tile or the notification panel even if you are using the light theme it still remains black and i personally don't like it but i'm not sure if you guys are able to see here so whenever i slide the volume slider there is a dot exactly in the center i'm not sure why it's exactly added if you guys are aware do let me know in the comment section below and the next change of android 15 is layer to screen recording so whenever you tap on screen recording now you get an option to record a single application instead of the entire screen so if i select single application and tap on start recording you can see a new pop-up which will give you option to select an application so for example i'll select the calculator application and now the calculations which i do here in the calculator application only this will be recorded but the screen recording won't stop if you close the application though it doesn't record the home screen if you go back only the timer continues but your recording of that particular application would have stopped another change in the quick setting tiles is related to screen casting so in the screen casting also we have the options like you can select the single application or the entire screen and once you start the screen casting all your notifications will be minimized so the sensitive information won't be displayed while you are casting the screen but this feature can be turned off by going to developer setting you have an option disable screen share protection so once you disable this all the notifications will be displayed on the screen while casting now talking about other ui changes and the next one is layered to the volume panel so whenever you tap on the volume button now the volume slider has a pretty large size compared to android 14 which was slightly compact and the thicker than what it's present on android 15. also if you tap on these three dots now you can see the pop-up menu have been completely revamped on the top side you have the audio output options like currently my device is connected to buds 3 and that shows here i can select the phone also and connect to other devices also the sliders are pretty well optimized here you can see there is no lag or you know that stutters while sliding the volume sliders with a single tap towards the right hand side you can increase the volume to max and with a single tap if you tap on the left side you can decrease the volume to zero or you can say mute and once again tapping here on the icon the volume will go back to the previous level which was set so for example i'll set it somewhere around 60 percent once i mute it and now if i tap here towards the left hand side it will go back to the same volume level which was previously available also towards the bottom side we have the live caption option which can be enabled or disabled and also you get to see the device setting for example my buds 3 are connected if i tap on this device setting it will show me the settings of oneplus buds 3. there are some useful changes they have also done in the recent page and one of them is related to split screens so for example if i open this application or the settings page in the split screen mode later on selecting other application so this is how split screen mode looks now we do have an option to pair the applications in split screen so tapping here you can see save app pair if i tap here these two applications which we opened in the split screen will have an icon on the home screen so whenever you tap on this icon both the applications will again open in the split screen so you can pair two applications which you use the most and later on put them on the home screen for easy access another change what they have done and that's led to the ui of screenshot so previously if you guys remember the screenshot preview used to overlap the pill but now you can see we have an ample amount of space between the pill and the screenshot preview and this looks pretty nice so let me show you another example 
here you can see on higher end pixel devices you get to see a nice animation or you can say that glow effect whenever you take a screenshot but that's not to be seen on pixel 7a there's another thing which i did not like so for example here if i copy any text and if you see the preview the copied text preview overlaps the pill which is present beneath that i hope it would have been same how we get to see the screenshot preview that looks pretty neat and some privacy related changes also have been done with android 15 for example if you have set any password on your device and if you want to change the screen timeout you always need to authenticate your device so here you can see if i increase the screen timeout it is asking for the authentication but it won't ask you authentication if you reduce the screen time it only happens whenever you try to increase the screen time and the same change have been done whenever you connect your device to the pc and later on make changes in the usb preferences after that they have also added the webcam support with android 15 so you can now just connect your device to pc from the notification panel select webcam and you can use your device advanced camera for webcam once you select webcam you can also increase the resolution by tapping on the icon present on the left top corner which says hq but remember using high quality video will drain more battery when used for longer hours another android 15 feature is app archive so for example i have the facebook application here going to app info now here you can see towards the left hand side we have a archive feature previously we used to see open option here but now the open option is on the top side with an icon instead of text what we used to see here you can tap on archive and the app will be archived but your data won't be affected basically archive feature lets you save some extra space on your device without losing data and if any application is archived this is how it will look and it's not like the application will be removed from the app drawer you'll have the similar look with this cloudy icon you can easily restore the application by tapping on the icon and your application will be again downloaded without affecting your data so this is another cool android 15 feature now talking about changes done in the settings so one of them is related to bluetooth under bluetooth now we do have a new option going to connected devices under connection preferences bluetooth here you can see we have a new option called automatically turn on tomorrow so if you have disabled the bluetooth and this thing is enabled so the next day your bluetooth will be automatically turned on instead of you manually turning it on so this is one add on what they have done here under the bluetooth section and under network preferences we have a new option called allow wap network which is an older security protocol and it's less secure so if you want you can disable it but by default it's enabled and in the network details of wi-fi if you slide down tapping on privacy here also they have added a new thing called send device name so if this thing is enabled the device name will be shared with the network and if you don't want to do that you can just disable it and the next change is in the display and touch section which is led to screen saver now we have a new option to set a screen saver of home controls you can select any option while charging or while charging in docking so whenever you connect a device to charger or put it on dock your all the home controls will be displayed on the main screen moving on to the next change which is done under sounds and vibration so here if you scroll down go to vibration and heptics now we have a new option of adaptive vibration so here your device uses microphone and other sensors to determine sound level and the context so according to the situation the device will automatically adjust the vibration strength moving on to the storage section so here they have added the file manager access directly in the storage settings tapping on it you can access your file manager to get rid of unwanted data it also says free up space but if you scroll down now we have two sections under system one is completely related to your android 15 and then we have some temporary files tapping on android 15 it says it includes your operating system and the files that are needed to keep your phone running smoothly and if you tap on temporary files it says this include caches and other temporary files that are needed by your operating system so from here you can't clear any data because all the files present here under system are required for your operating system to run smoothly google also add this new feature called theft protection so here device uses ai and other motion sensors including wi-fi bluetooth to detect if someone unexpectedly takes your device and runs away so here there are some options like auto lock protection you can enable theft detection lock and the offline device lock here the screen will lock shortly after your device goes offline to protect your data and you also have the options to remotely lock your device where you need to verify your number and you have this url which can help you lock your device if you lose it and at last you have the find my device which lets you erase the data of your device after that we also have this repair mode so if you're giving your device for service you can enter the repair mode and the technicians won't be able to access your private data they'll do have the access to other required things but your data will be completely secure and it can come in handy every time like whenever you're giving for service you don't have to take a backup or erase data before giving the device 
and another change is in the navigation mode now towards the bottom side you can see we have a circle to search option which can be enabled or disabled from here so if it is enabled you just have to long press on this navigation bar and the circle to search option will pop up later on you can search anything present on the screen and there are two features which are still missing on my pixel 7a one of them is the diagnose mode and the second one is evaluation mode i'm not sure whether those features will be coming on pixel 7a or not so guys these were all the features what we have discovered on android 15 if i missed out anything do let me know in the comment section below this is your friend ashok signing out see you guys in the next video